All right, so it's Sunday evening. It's Sunday evening. And I'm going to church for Sunday morning. And I'm going to the movies for Sunday afternoon. Yeah, for Sunday afternoon, I went to see Iron Man Stunk. Anyway, I mean, it was okay, but it just took too long. Yeah. Um, and now I was thinking of something. And I know it just might be a, just a little too much, you know, scripture reading and stuff. But um, I just want to come to a point. So I'm going to read this to you. And this is um, in Ephesians. I believe it's in Ephesians. Yeah, this is in Ephesians. It's uh, number five. And it's walk in love, light, and wisdom. That's what the chapter is about. And I'm starting from verse uh, six. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not be partakers with them. Can you see me? Do not be partakers with them, for you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Finding out what is acceptable to the Lord... And have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. For it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. But all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light of whatever makes men, whatever makes manifest light. Therefore, he says, awake you who sleep. Arise from the dead and Christ will give you light. I just want to go over. I can't keep this thing still. I want to go over one part. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. For it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. But all things are exposed, all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light, for whatever makes manifest is light. Okay, where did I say I was? Ephesians 5, and I started at 6. Mm. Okay, so the reason why I want to do this video, well, no, what I really want to say about this particular thing, I'm in CC, so. You hear all kinds of stuff because they're, you know, clean up to close. Sometimes we get caught in stuff. I'm looking down because it really hurts to look up. Sometimes we get caught out there in some stuff. I know I do. And we find ourselves in situations, places. Um, I call them people, places, and things. My only 12-step program was life. But sometimes we get caught up, even myself, and, you know, I, you portray one thing, and it's really something else. Even I have done it, you know, uh, portray myself as a goody-goody. I don't know how I did that, um, but, you know, yeah, sometimes people portray themselves as all-knowing when they don't know much of nothing. They don't know much of anything. They portray themselves as... Um, you know, straight and narrow, when really, you know, they're crackpots, not like my earlier crackpots. I hear so many videos on here about be yourself, you know. Um, of course, I use the scripture because I'm telling you that, you know, if you live your life for Christ, you live your life for the Lord, you shouldn't concern yourself and put yourself in places where people are not of the same thought, the same mindset of you. Now, I'm going to take that outside of Christ and say the same thing. In your life, if you like, I'm trying not to be silly, but if you're a hard worker and you're a hard lover and, you know, you want to build a home, then it doesn't make sense to me that you would go pick relationships with people who want to be single or who don't work hard or who are not sure of what they want, who they want, and who they are. You know, if you're going to be a part of people's lives, or if you want people to be a part of your lives, you should set your manifest first. Is that right? You know, when you set out your foundation first, 
you, you tell people what you're looking for, what you want, what you expect, and you know, you kind of puzzle it, piece it together. And this way, you don't have to worry about, you know, who you are and who they are. I mean, you still get to learn that in personalities. Again, remember, I'm in pain, so that's why I can't look up at the camera. Um, this way, you can kind of weave into each other's space. And as you weave into each other's space with the similarities, you know, you come up with a nice little rainbow blanket, or you come up with a nice little puppy coat, or, you know, maybe even a sweater or a muff, I don't know, mitt. But um, if you don't have some of the same similarities, if you're not in a, in, a, in a situation where you're looking for the same things, your goal are for the same things, and, and you mesh, why are you in that mess? And if that mess doesn't work out, why, why, why don't you keep it personal? Now, God will make all things. He will manifest so that things will be revealed to you. This is for false prophets, this is for false people, this is for false situations, this is for false leaders. Once the Lord puts his hand in it, he's going to show you who's who. He's going to show you who's who. So, if you, you know, you want people to see you one way, but that's not who you are, eventually it's going to be seen. So you need to be who you are in heart and truth. You need to be who you are in orientation. You need to be who you are, black or white. You need to be who you are, racist or not. You need to be who you are because eventually it is going to be seen exactly who you are. And why go through all the drama? Praise God. Why go through all the drama when you can just drop that in the first place or just walk away from whatever it is? I know y'all think this is rambling, right? But it's going to it's gonna touch somebody. It, it is going to touch somebody. You know? Ephesians says, get yourself out of there. If it's not, if it, they're not real and they're not of God and they're not of the same thing that you are of, then you are wasting your time where you could be someplace else, you know, praising or you could be someplace else building up or you could be someplace else doing a good work going and doing a good deed and the same thing goes for one another don't break people down don't make people have to wait for you don't make no, if you haven't decided who you are what you're doing or where you're going to the left i remember that song to the left yeah yeah anyway that's really all I have to say, and you know, and if I've ruffled any feathers, it's just something that came to mind. I was sitting here in CC's, and I was like, I know there's something in the Bible for that, and um, this is for my, 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 my brothers and sisters in Christ, and it is also for my brothers and sisters who are not in Christ that are trying to find their way anywhere, anywhere. If it's not good for you, if it's not good to you, if it's not good with you, drop that and move on. Deuces, even on the Sunday.